Hey, what's up everyone? Game Dad here, coming at you guys with another Let's Fix video. And this time I am taking a look at a Joy-Con again, but this is one that one of my students actually brought me. And what happened was the Joy-Con was removed improperly from his Switch, and it actually ripped out that little latch bar that goes in there and it looks like it was actually a pretty clean tear out so we are going to open this up and take a look at what's inside and see if we can get those ribbon cables reattached and hopefully make this Joy-Con work again. All right, so as you can see here, I got my trusty iFixit toolkit and anti-static mat. So we are just gonna dive right in and crack this sucker open. So we'll get that tri-wing screw, get these screws out of here. It's a pretty simple design as far as being able to get back into it anyways. Previously I had done a video repairing a Joy-Con. It was actually my right Joy-Con. And one of the screws had kind of sucked through the plastic when I accidentally dropped my switch. So luckily I was able to put that to put that back together fairly easily. And it was kind of cool being able to do a teardown of the Joy-Con controller. All right, let's see, what is holding you together? Hmm, there we go. Just kind of stuck in there. <laughs> okay. Let's see here, let's get that battery up out of the way. Get a little pry tool going. Well, that was unnecessary. It did not really need to be pried at all. It wasn't really sitting in there very well. All right, and then we gotta take out, it's kinda hard to see, but we gotta take out this other little plate here, cause down underneath right here are a couple of ribbon cable connectors. So let's get that different bit. Nice small Phillips head. I always thought that was kinda funny. They take the time to make everything be a tri-wing screw, but then once you get past the tri-wings, it's just Phillips. Super easy to deal with. So I was giving my student a hard time. I was telling him, I was gonna tell everyone in this video that he rage quit on Super Mario Odyssey and that was why it wasn't working anymore. Okay, let's see here. So I see one of the connection spots. Oh, there's the other one. All right, let's see. So what do I gotta do to lift that guy up? Oh, never mind. That is not one of them, that's one of the ICs. Um, that's where one ribbon cable connects. Let's see here, how would the next one connect? I believe this goes like this. This little ribbon cable here will connect right here, and then the other one connects right there. And they actually connect in opposite directions. So I'm gonna move this battery wire out of my way, move that whole battery out of my way, actually. <clears throat> Make sure that little flap is up. Get this out of the way, that's the the HD rumble right there.
So, <clears throat> I was not able to get that cable to go in, so I ended up actually opening up one of my Joy-Cons and found out this stupid little cable actually goes in on this other side right here. So we're gonna go ahead and get that inserted in there. Well, okay, a couple of things. Right here, the little release button actually came loose whenever this thing came apart. So we'll just kind of slap that back down in there. And then right here, unfortunately, there was one piece of broken plastic. Kind of hard to see in the video, but right here, it's actually a screw on the other side of this that connects to this spot right here. So, what I am going to do to help put that back into place where it goes, <clears throat> I'm just gonna throw a little dab of uh, some industrial strength super glue down on there. Together. Let's clean off a little bit of that glue that got on there. As you can see, I mean, he does definitely have some plastic damage there, so you'll have to be mindful of that in the future. But it is in there, and more importantly, whenever you push buttons, as you can see, it is now working again. It was not lighting up or anything because nothing on this bar was actually connected anymore. So, he, meaning my student, will now have a nice working Joy-Con again. Awesome. I'll just do a little more cleanup on this little bit of super glue they got on that Joy-Con, and he will be good to go. All right, so that is another successful Let's Fix in the books. And this one, it seems like it could probably potentially be a pretty common issue that would come up where if the Joy-Con just gets the right amount of pressure, that little piece could actually pop out. So maybe future revisions of the Nintendo Switch, it will be a little bit more secure in there because it really isn't much holding that in there. But for now, this Joy-Con controller is now good to go again. And that means my student will be able to have an awesome weekend of gaming ahead of him. Now, if you guys like this video, please let me know down in the comments below. And also, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons, as well as that little notification bell. That way you can alert every time I got a new video coming out. Now, as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you later.